What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another New York Giants video. And in this video, I want to talk about the Giants 53-man roster. Now, I'm not going to go over all 53 guys in the team. I'd be here all night if I did that. What I do want to talk about are some of the surprises, maybe, that the Giants made here, the guys that they kept, the guys that they cut. Honestly, looking at who they kept and who they cut really wasn't a lot of surprises. The one major one that everybody was talking to me today about in my chat, on the live stream, in my community notes, uh, getting texts. Bad Dog, how the hell did the New York Giants keep Alex Tanney and cut Kylo Loretta? How the hell did they do that? You see how bad Alex Tanney is? Why would they keep him? I'm going to tell you why, guys. And this is this is fact, okay? Number one, when you get down to your third string quarterback, it doesn't matter who it is. Alex Tanney, Kylo Loretta, neither one of them are winning us football games. When you get down to your third string quarterback on any team, you're screwed. That's not where you want to be. They're a third string quarterback for a reason. Third string quarterbacks don't win football games. It's really not that big of a deal. The reason they kept Alex Tanney was this. Daniel Jones has been going to Alex Tanney for advice, not Eli Manning. Daniel Jones learns a lot from Alex Tanney. That's the guy that Daniel Jones is learning from. Maybe he does learn some stuff from Eli, but everything that I've read about, everything that I've heard, Alex Tanney is the guy that Daniel Jones feels more comfortable talking to about stuff. So that's why they kept him there. More for his experience. Kylo Loretta is 23. He doesn't have a lick of experience. Alex Tanny, while he's a journeyman, he's been in this league a long time, and he is a guy that can give some guidance to Daniel Jones. That's why they kept Alex Tanny, guys. Not because Alex Tanny is a better quarterback, but because Alex Tanny means more to this team than Kylo Loretta does. That's why they kept him. That's why Alex Tanny's here. Um, they decided, as far as running backs go, but that, to finish that, yes, that is why... Alex Tanny is here, guys. It is for coaching, pretty much. It is to help Daniel Jones out. That's why he's here. So that's the reason that they kept Alex Tanny and dumped Kyle Loletta. We'll see if Loletta catches on someplace else. But, again, it wouldn't really matter. It's, at that point, you're, you're done. You get down to those quarterbacks, you're done anyway. Tanny helps us more than Kyle Loletta. Um, running back-wise, they kept Wayne Goleman, and they kept Paul Perkins. I thought that was actually surprising that they cut Rod Smith. But to be fair... I like Goleman and Perkins. I actually like Perkins better. Some guys are down on Perkins. Some guys are up on Goleman. Some guys are down on Goleman. Some guys are up on Perkins. I like them both. I think that Paul Perkins is the better back, honestly. He did have a rough game the first game. He fumbled once, and then he he, uh, you know, he dropped the pass. But I thought he played a lot better the last three games. I think Goleman has also showed some signs. I think that both of them can do the job back at Saquon Barkley. So not a huge surprise, but... You know, the fact that Rod Smith, was they brought him in here, they signed him and they caught him, maybe that was a little surprising. But I think you're going to see Wayne Gallman on the goal line because he runs very hard like that anyway. And I think he can get that yard or two. Um, really, on defense, there's nothing huge looking at. B.J. Goodson made the team, which there was thought that he may be on the outs, but he played such a great game against the Patriots. I think he played his way onto the roster in that game against New England, which is why guys say the game don't matter. Who really cares? It's the backups. But guys like B.J. Goodson care about that fourth game, and I believe that that's the reason he made it. Now, Tay Davis made it, Marcus Golden made it. The typical names are there. I mean, there's really no surprises of defensive guys that got cut. Now, Jake Carlock was a nice story, but obviously he wasn't going to make the team. Um, so I don't think that's a big surprise, but B.J. Goodson probably played his way onto the roster in the last game. Sam Beal made the team as well. Sam Beal has been injured all preseason. Uh, but they decided to keep him on the roster, hoping that he gets healthy. Uh, I would like to see what Sam Bill could do. We all know he was a first-round talent that we got in the supplemental draft, and, and you know we gave him a third-round pick for him, but he was a first-round talent. So they have a lot of hope for Sam Bill. He made the team. Uh, wide receiver-wise, this was the big one as far as, like, you know, who are they going to keep, who are they going to cut. They cut T.J. Jones, who I mentioned they may cut. I thought that he might have been on the outs. He was immediately picked up by Jacksonville. So he's got a job. He's going to go to Jacksonville. And Britton Golden, I don't think that's any surprise. Super, super happy that my boy, Alonzo Russell, made the team. Alonzo Russell was amazing in in, pre in uh, training camp. He was really good. And if you watch those games, Alonzo Russell's opened so many times in, in these in these games. And the quarterbacks kept missing him. I did have five for 92, the game-winning touchdown, and another touchdown uh, against New England. Of course, the play, everybody will remember the play that I remember. As good as Alonzo Russell's been, and he was great 
again, like I said, against the Patriots. And I thought he was great all preseason. A lot of quarterbacks missed him. If they would have hit him in stride, he could have had a huge preseason numbers. But that play where he ran down the defensive back, uh, who looked like he was going in for six in that hustle play, I think that was a play of the preseason for the Giants was that. So I was super happy that Alonzo Russell made this team. I think it's well deserved. I think that his six foot four, two hundred eighteen pound frame could really come in handy in the red zone if he can get off the line of scrimmage. I mean, I don't really know much about Alonzo Russell against first string defensive backs. There's a reason that he really isn't caught on at twenty six, even though he's very fast. He's six four, two eighteen. He's a good size receiver. He looks like he has really good hands, but there's a reason that he is where he is. So I got to see him against you know your first string cornerbacks to see if he can beat those guys in the red zone because that's probably where we'll utilize him the most. They kept Darius Slayton, although he's been hampered by the hamstring injury. They decided to keep Darius Slayton. Obviously, they should. He was another guy who stood out in minicamp and OTAs. He was amazing. When he was on the field, you saw the catch he made on the Daniel Jones throw, the adjustment in the air, high-pointing the ball, keeping the feet in bounds. He's a big guy, six foot one, 200-plus pounds. He runs a 4'4", 4, 4, He's got a 40-inch vertical leap. I actually think he runs a 4'3", 9, 40. So he's a guy that can stretch the field. They decided to keep him. Not a surprise there. Now, one thing I want to mention and I mentioned this in the live stream, I think that the Giants, there's a lot of cuts out there. Guys are talking about Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall's a guy I would love, to, not the receiver, the, the, the uh, defensive player. I would love Brandon Marshall to come in here. I think that's a guy that could definitely help the New York Giants give them depth in that front seven, without a doubt. I think Brandon Marshall will be a nice pickup for the Giants in defense. And then offense, Redskins cut Josh Doxson. I would love the Giants to take a shot at Josh Doxson. This kid was amazing at TCU. Amazing. He's only 26 years old. He's a burner. He can stretch the field. Um, he had some injury issues in Washington. He had a hard time catching the ball. I don't know if he never really got on the same page or Kirk Cousins. I really don't know what the deal is. Obviously, he's, you know, just hasn't caught on with Washington, but I think a fresh start with the Giants maybe could help the kid out. He's got a world of talent. There's really no harm in bringing in uh, a guy like Josh Doxson because our wide receiving core is very thin. It is very thin without a doubt. We could definitely use a guy, another veteran guy, because Alonzo Russell don't have a lot of experience as a wide receiver, nor does uh, Darius Slayton. So I would like to see, um, you know, just take a shot at Josh Doxson. I don't think that would hurt at all to bring him in here. I think he could really help the Giants. I really do. I th he's got a lot of talent. He's 26. Give him a try. You know, what? What? how could it hurt? Um so that's pretty much it, guys. You know, like I said, not a lot of surprises on this list at all. I think a lot of the guys that were going to make the team made it. I think a lot of the guys who figured to get cut got cut. And the ones I just went over are kind of the biggest the biggest surprises, if you will, um, that made it. And, of course, I'm so happy for Alonzo Russell because I really like that kid. So uh, that's all I got on the 53-man roster, guys. I'll have a video about the Eagles not getting Jadavian Clowney because I think it's funny. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. So uh, I hope you guys will tune in for that. And then, of course, I'll have a nice Cowboys video for all the Cowboys fans because uh, it's football season, baby. Let's go. So until then, guys, it is Bad Dog, and I am gone. Peace!